Shalom, people of God. I'd like to welcome you to the month of April, the month of divine restoration. Joel chapter 2, verse 25, reading especially from the English Standard Version, it says, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the quarter, my great army, which I send among you. This month is a month of restoration. God says he will restore to you that which you have lost. He will restore to you that which you, has been stolen from you. He will restore to you that which has been forcefully taken from you. He will restore to you that which is your inheritance. He will restore to you that which is your right, that which is your property. The Bible has several stories of people who had restorations as a result of the mighty power of God. One example of such restoration is Jacob. Jacob grew up a supplanter, but then we're told in the Bible that he had an encounter with the Lord in Genesis chapter 32, verse 28, that transformed and restored him to his original destiny, wherein the Lord told him, your name will no longer be called Jacob, the supplanter, but Israel, the prince of God, because you have struggled with God and with men, and you have overcome. The Bible tells us of Joseph. Joseph was a dreamer. He was a dreamer that was a local champion. When God will restore Joseph, Joseph became not just a local champion, he became an international figure, the prime minister of Egypt, selling food, giving food to the entire world. Oh, you remember the story of Naaman that was leprous. We're told in 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 14, that when he dipped himself in the Jordan seven times, as the man of God told him, his flesh was restored and became like that of a young boy. How about Samson? We're told that Samson's hair began to grow again. And in the last battle that Samson fought, we're told that he killed more people than all the battles he had fought put together. This month, there will be restoration in your life. This month, God will restore your family. This month, that which you have been looking up to God for, the heavens will break through for you. You know, this is the month of the celebration of Easter, wherein Jesus was raised from the dead by the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit. That same power that raised up Jesus from the dead will work in your life, work in your family. Congratulations. I'd like to welcome you once again to the month of divine restoration. God bless you.